We have recently welcomed into our long-term fleet a 2016 Mazda MX-5 Miata because, well, of course we did. Why wouldn't we? We've been enamored of this newest Miata from the moment we first got behind the wheel. But we've been enamored of Miatas for a very long time before that. Our parking lot is littered with first and second generation cars, some bone stock, others modified for track duty. The older members of our staff remember experiencing the first Miata as the rebirth of the simple, light British sports cars of their youth. The middle-aged among us remember going to the local Mazda dealership when we were in high school at the very end of the 80s just to gawk at the newly arrived Miatas, resplendent in one or the other primary colors. And the young guys, well, they've never known a world without Miatas. It's those guys, the ones without children who own our backlit collection of old Mazda two-seaters. It should come as no surprise, then, that we ordered a new one at our earliest opportunity. Now it sits in our lot, all evil eyes and flared fenders, looking like the devious gremlin compared with the earlier Miata's cute and cuddly mogwai. The Miata were, MX-5 Miata no longer is available in its original, happy primary colors or in the British racing green of special edition Miata's of the past. Instead, it's offered in grey and black and white. Heck, even the available red and blue paint colors are relatively dark and moody. We chose one of the grayscale options. It's called ceramic metallic. But it's actually very light grey. It's like white with attitude. It is, in fact, a little like the color of the Ducati 899 Banigal Superbike that passed us as we drove our Miata to the office one morning. With only 155 horsepower, the Miata obviously is no match for a superbike, but we ordered our little roadster to be as sporty as a stock fourth generation Miata can get. We started with the club model, which sits between the base Miata Sport, with its 16 inch wheels, and the relatively luxurious Grand Touring, with its standard leather seats. The club version, which starts at $29,420 brings a torque sensing limit slip differential, a strower brace, and a sport eaten stock suspension tune that includes Bilstein shocks. Well, the club version includes those things assuming you choose the six-speed manual transmission, which, come on, of course we did. The club also brings larger 17-inch wheels finished in gunmetal grey and wrapped with 20545R17 Bristone Patenza S001 summer tyres. To that we added the $3,400 Brembo BBS package, which includes, well, Brembo front brakes with red painted calipers, handsome BBS wheels and the same gun metal finish as the standard club wheels, side asil and rear upon extensions, and, curiously, keyless entry. The Brembos are said to offer better resistance to fade and in our initial instrumented testing we noted exactly no fade. The forged BBS wheels are each about two pounds lighter than the standard 17s, according to Mazda. Because we live in Michigan and will be driving the car through the winter, we also grabbed a set of all weather floor mats for $90. Total damage, $32,910. That's less than the average price of a new car in 2015. All models share the same 2.0 liter engine making the same 155 horsepower at 6,000 revolutions per minute and 148 lbft of torque at 4,600 revolutions per minute. All Miatas with manual transmissions share the same gear and final drive ratios. So it's not like we built a healthier or fast Miata. But our 2,324 pound car made it to 60 miles per hour in 5.8 seconds and through the quarter mile in 14.6 seconds at 94 miles per hour that's quick enough for a car that's not exactly built for drag racing. And despite being down on horsepower compared with the 167 horsepower, previous generation car, it's about a second quicker to 60 miles per hour than new Miata carries a slightly better weight to power ratio 15.0 versus 15.2 compared with the last previous generation car we tested, thanks to an overall weight reduction of 216 pounds. With 0.88 grams of lateral grip on the skid pad, the Miata won't be challenging any fat-tired pony cars or sports cars. 
but the Maeta never has been about maximum grip any more than street like drag races. It turns in an excellent braking performance, stopping from 70 miles per hour in 158 feet. It's a well-rounded performance package. But as ever, the Maeta is about how all of those various parameters combine to generate fun. The steering is delectable. The shifter remains one of the better mechanical devices in any automobile. Clutch take-up is progressive and easy. Heel and toe downshifts are a breeze. The car just flows in a way that makes you wonder why more cars aren't like this. It feels like the natural order of things. We'll see how natural it feels through the errand running, soul crushing commuting, and winter nastiness that all of our long-termers must sometimes endure. Will the cranks on staff stop complaining about the car's body roll? Will we be able to fit anything in that little trunk? We shall see. For now, we've only just accumulated enough miles on the car to safely take it testing and be free of the break-in restrictions.